Hi, Miss Teresa. And welcome back to another What's New in Kids Books. Yay! 2021. Yes. <laughs> so let's jump into our board books. Okay. So first we're going to start with um, Uni the Paints a Rainbow. And this is based on Uni the Unicorn picture books by Amy Krause Rosenthal. And you're going to see all the similar characters that you see in the picture books. And this one goes through the colors. So it's really cool. And pretty. Yes. <laughs> Uh, and our second recommendation is a reprint of Dog Breath, The Horrible Trouble with Halitosis by Dave Pilkey, which was originally a children's fiction book. This time they made it in this cool board book for younger readers. Super funny. It's funny. <laughs> Dog Breath, Dave Pilkey. What's not like? What's not to like? And now we're going to go to picture books. Mm -hmm. And our first one is Misha Makes Friends by Tom Percival. And this picture book is part of the Big Bright Feeling series. And this one right here is a story about helping children learn how to express and understand their relationships and emotions. And the artwork is just super fun. That's really cool. Yeah, so I really do like this one a lot. Awesome. Uh, our next recommendation is one of my favorites, The Power of Yet by Marianne Coca Leffler. Uh, this is about the story of one small piglet who uses the power of yet to conquer frustration. So instead of saying, I can't do it, he says, I can't do it yet. Really cute. I'm sure the pictures. Course, oh, really, yes, <laughs> really cute. Cute pictures. A very determined pig. Yes, who doesn't like pigs? <laughs> okay, and then we have Shy Willow by Cat Min. And this right here is a um, book about shyness and the power of empathy and what it means to make a friend. And these ones, I really love yeah, I think the it's illustrations. The, my I mean, pictures. This, look this at one. that. Yes, yeah, it's, it's just gorgeous. Let me do another one because I just, I loved it so much. Cute. <laughs> I love the, the color scheme. Yes. Um, this one is I Am Not a Penguin, A Pangolin's <laughs> Lament by Liz Wong. So this is about, uh, we meet Pangolin and he's trying to educate the other animals about how he is not a penguin, but a pangolin. So some cool facts about what a pangolin is and awesome pictures and it's pretty funny. And then we have Laxmi's Much by Shelly Anand. And this one right here is a really fun um, picture book that celebrates our bodies and our body hair in whichever way they grow. And so we have a story about a little girl being she okay. Yeah, a much, a little mustache. Which I relate to. <laughs> I think a lot of kids relate to. We don't hear about it a lot. Yeah. yeah. But still beautiful artwork really and very cool. a touching story. Uh, also, we have mustache, duck stash, kind of similar, <laughs> not really. Uh, this is about a, uh, basically, uh, who would you crown the winner of this hairy competition? And it's a play on the word mustache and its rhymes. So we have a uh, mustache, duck stash, but then we also get some cooler words like, what do we have? Moustache. Moustache. Meow stash. Moustache. Moustache. <laughs> it's really cool. It's really funny. It's a very funny book. I really enjoyed it. Okay, and that's it for picture books. Okay, so now we're going to go over I Can Reads and In-Betweens, mm -hmm. and we're going to start with Storybots by, with Velociraptors, and this is based on a Netflix original series. So if you watch that show, then you're going to see a lot of your favorite characters in here, and it's very cool. This is a step one uh, reading level, so it's preschool through kindergarten. It's going to have big type, easy words for the kids, and a lot of picture clues. Nice. Uh, next up, we have uh, an Elbow Grease, part of the Elbow Grease world by John Cena, called Teamwork Wins. So when one of the trucks breaks down, Elbow Grease and his brothers work together to help. This is also a step one, so rhyme and rhythm and a lot of picture clues. And a lot of cards, if your little one likes trucks, which we all do. <laughs> and then we have... The Evil Princess versus the, versus the Brave Knight Make Good Choices. And it's important to make good choices, but it's not always easy to do. And so this is a step two. And so that means it's going to be reading with help. So you're going to have basic vocabulary, very short sentences, and simple stories. So about preschool to grade one. And some really fun illustrations yeah. with knights and princesses. So, for boys and girls. Mm -hmm. 
Uh, so next we're going to shift into in-between books. This is right before uh, children's fiction. Yes. The first one is uh, in the infamous Ratso series. So there's three other books. This is Ratty Tattletale. Uh, so when Ralphie Ratso stands up to Sid and Kurt for picking on his friend Tiny, the two boys get in trouble. And now they are out to get Ralphie. But with help from his dad, Big Lou, Ralphie realizes that doing what's right is more important than what's cool. So again, this is like a simple chapter book with a picture still. And we have Starla Jean, which came first, the chicken or the friendship? And this is a fun little story. It's side-splitting, irresistible adventure of one little girl and one little chicken and a friendship that is destined to take flight. So super cute because you have the little girl and the little chicken, so. <laughs> it's pretty, it's adorable. It's adorable. <laughs> Our last adorable uh, in-between book is a new series, which I think is going to be really popular. Uh, Sydney and Taylor explore the whole wide world. So Sydney the skunk and Taylor the hedgehog, I believe he's a hedgehog. Uh, they are small animals who never go anywhere. But when Taylor decides to explore the whole wide world, his loyal friend Sydney agrees to go too. So this one, uh, simple simple text, but the pictures are really, really cool. Yes, so really that nice. will keep you in the most reluctant really reader uh, engaged. And I like the illustrations because for me, it made me think of books I read when I was little, the little golden books. Yeah. So I thought that was yeah. similar. It was really fun. Uh, and there's another one coming out later this year in this series. So next we have children's graphic novels. And our first recommendation is uh, featuring a character who needs no introduction. Super Mario, Manga Mania. So this features stories based on the Super Mario games. It has all your favorite characters in some of the crazy worlds from the best-selling video game. So this is a manga, so it is read a little bit differently. It's from back to front, and you read the panels uh, right to left. Oh, wow, that's cool. Pretty cool, though. And then we have Allergic by Megan Wagner Lloyd. And this right here is a heartfelt story of family, friendship, and finding a place to belong. And the main character has an allergy, so they do talk about that, but really fun. To puppies, and she wants a puppy on. Yep. <laughs> Really cool. Mm -hmm. uh, next is another new series called Pup Detectives. This is the first case. Uh, a mysterious bandit is on the loose at Poston Elementary School and lunchtime has turned into crime time. It's a good thing that Pup Detectives are on the case. Uh, so this is really colorful, uh, very cartoony illustrations. Um, it reminds me of like old uh, 90s television show almost. Yes, yeah. But really popular and really cool. And then we have Pepper Page Saves the Universe. And this right here is a fantasy, is a book about fantasy and reality colliding in an explosion of action and adventure and mystery. As Pepper learns that sometimes truth is stranger than fiction. And these have like your classic panel story yeah. time, but it's like really cool. Look at that. It looks really cool. Yeah. Very science fiction y. You, know? mm -hmm. you don't see that a lot in children's graphics. So cool. And that's it for graphic novels. Okay, and now we're going to go over some nonfiction. And we're going to start with Try It How Frida Kaplan Changed the Way We Eat. And this is written by Mara Rockliffe. This is, by Free, or this is about Frida Kaplan. And what she did was she introduced new fruits and vegetables to U.S. supermarkets. So for a while, we didn't have the kiwi at this grocery store, but she helped introduce it. Yeah, you can see all in the front, all, those yep, different, all, the all different. the different fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. Really cool. Some history I didn't even know about. Um, our second pick is The Wisdom of Trees, How Trees Work Together to Form a Natural Kingdom by Lita Judge. Um, so this has uh, facts and also poems about trees and their ecosystems, which makes it a little unique. And also the illustrations are beautiful. They're really pretty. Um, so you have facts on this side and then a really nice poem on the other side. Really cool. And then we have how to draw Star Wars characters. And so you're going to draw all your favorite characters. So if you like Yoda or Darth Vader, then this is the book you're going to want to check out so that you can learn how to draw. There's Yoda. And there's R2-D2. Get some other ones in there. So it's really cool. 
I could use it. I need to brush up on my drawing skills. And our last pick is First Friend, How Dogs Evolve from Wolves to Become Our Best Friends by Kirsten Hamilton. Um, so this is a lyrical text and luminous illustrations that explore how wild wolves became dogs and how we learn to communicate and grow alongside the creatures we love. So this kind of follows a nomad tribe and how they um, domesticated the puppies. And it's really pretty. Really vibrant yeah. pictures. Not, not really text heavy, so it'll be uh, great for even the most beginning readers to read with. Okay, and that's it for nonfiction. Okay, so lastly we have our recommendations for children's fiction. So first up we have Simon B. Ryman by Dwayne Reed. And this is about 11 year old Simon Barnes who dreams of becoming a world famous rapper that everyone calls Notorious D.O.G. But for now he's just a Chicago fifth grader who's small for his age and afraid to use his voice. Uh, this is a humorous and heartwarming underdog story by America's favorite rapping teacher from Chicago, Dwayne Reed. Uh, and it will inspire young readers everywhere to use their voice to create change within their communities. Very cool. Then we have The World Between Blinks by Amy Kaufman and Ryan uh, Graden. And this right here is a discover a magical world where lost things are found. So we have two cousins who go on an adventure together. Um, the world between blinks is a magical place where all kinds of lost things and people end up. Everywhere the cousins turn, they find real mysteries from history, plus a few they thought were only myths. That's pretty cool. Yep. I want to know what happened. So, <laughs> um, Our next pick is The Elephant in the Room by Holly Goldberg Sloan. She is the best-selling author of Counting by Sevens, which is very popular mm -hmm. with kids. Um, this is about Sila and her family who have been separated. Her mother is in Turkey and can't return to the U.S. Mm -hmm. um, so her and her father befriend in a grandfatherly old man who only months before won the lottery. So her and her new friend uh, make an alliance to help rescue a circus elephant named Vida. And this is a moving story of family separation and the importance of the connection between animals and humans. Sounds very touchy. It does. Then we have Houdini and Me by Dan Gutman. And this is a funny story about 11 year old Harry Mancini. And he lives in the house where Harry Houdini used to live. And so he suddenly starts getting communication on his phone from Harry Houdini beyond the grave. And so yeah, Harry's giving him all sorts of inside information about how to do some of his magic tricks. So it seems like a really funny story. I'm intrigued, <laughs> but I'm also a little creeped out by that. <laughs> okay, and that's it for our picks this month. We hope to see you next month for even more great kids books. Yep. We'll see you then. Bye. Bye. Bye.